hello everyone so let me make new lab here in this one we are going to learn how we can configure the dscp server in the cisco packet tracer by using the router we will use the router i will create new okay uh, here what i will do i will use one router we will configure the dscp in this router i will write dscp okay i will write this is a dscp server and we will have one switch here i will keep one switch here and i will take some devices here okay we will take some devices we can say we will get the ip from the dscp here so let me design the topology we, we we are using the router here okay router we are using we will configure inside the router as a dscp server so router is going to give the ip address to the machine so let's do here i will do here okay let me put here put here and here if i see i connected wrong this one so i disconnect now i will connect from here to here i will connect from here to here okay so this is our lab you can imagine this is your computer lab in your college and you have the computers there you need to get the ip from the dscp so you don't have the dscp server there you need to configure the dscp configuration inside the router so this all computer can get the ip from this dscp server so how we will do the configuration i will show you the configuration you will take the cli of this router okay i am doing this in the cisco packet tracer i will write here no first i will change the name if you want to change the name go in the global configuration mode and write here name i will write dscp server here okay i change the name after that we need to assign the ip here whatever ip we are planning to give to this interface example i am planning to give this ip to this interface this one here so i will put that ip here so first i will go to the interface g0 by 0 by 0 then i will write ip address whatever ip i want to assign i will put that one 192.168.1.255.255.0 i will write here no shirt okay with this one i assign the ip address to the interface now we need to do the dscp configuration if i want to do the dscp configuration i will write ip dscp pool i can give any name so i will give abc then after that you will write network and which network you want to give ip example i want to give the ip from the range 192 1.0 and subnet mask will be this way so i put this way you need to write network if you want to give the ip like 192 1.2 something then instead of here you will write 2 so now i am writing 192 1.0 whatever the subnet i am using this interface same subnet network we will give so all this machine can communicate here so if you see this is the ip here in the place of zero you will get one two three for this computer and you need to write default router gateway you need to give here what will be the gateway so router interface will be the gateway this interface ip will be the gateway so i give here after that what we will do we will write here ip dscp exclude i will say dscp server don't give this ip so i will write the range which ip dscp server should not give I will write from 192.168.1.1 to 1.10. I will say here DSCP server, don't give this IP. I am reserving this IP from 192.168.1.1 till 1.2, 1.3, so on till 1.10. I am reserving this IP. So I will say IP DSCP exclude address is 192.168.1.1 till 192.168.1.10. Don't give this IP to anyone later we will assign because example 1.1 .1 we already use here later if we bring some server web server something server we can give ip from there in this range because for servers for routers for firewall we will not give the ip from the dscp we will give the manually static ip that's why i reserve here so this is a configuration for the dscp this is a configuration for the dscp i will save this configuration now we can test we can go to the computer here you can go to any computer and click here and click here and see here you are getting the ip because we told don't give till 10 so it is giving 11 192.168.1.11 1 
this is a subnet mask and whatever gateway we give that we receive same thing go here click here you will get the ip see you get the ip you try here also you will get the ip and you can ping it will work also all the machines will communicate to each other all machines will communicate to each other also if you go here select this option you will get the ip here see everything is working perfectly and if you want to ping also we can ping and we can check replies coming or not so this one is also getting the ip let's see here if you have here this one is also getting 17 you get 1.17 if you configure here you will get 1.18 if you configure here you will get 1.19 you will get here 1.20 here you will get 1.21 then 1.22 1.23 1.24 here if you see 1 dot 24 okay so if I want to ping from this machine to this machine I can go here I can write here ping 192.168 1 dot 24 and you can see replies coming so this PC is communicating with this PC if you have any server example but in the real world for server you will not give the IP from the DSCP manually you will configure so but anyhow i connected this server here i will go to this server i will go i will select here dscp and i will wait here so this server will get the ip from the dscp server this is a router starting you will not get because this port if you see this port is still umbered stp is working on this port so we need to wait for some time until this port go green once this port go green become green then it will start working it will take 30 to 50 seconds to become the green because STP is enabled here. STP will do listening learning and now it become green. So we will go here and we will again click this static and then again we will click this one and wait for some time you will get the IP. You can see 1.25 I get the IP to this server and if you want you can access the web services for this one. 1.21 we get or what we get 1.25 right 1.25 so you can access that server. You can write 192.168.1.25 and press enter you can see you are able to access the server so what we can say in this lab what we learn how we can configure the dscp server in the router and these are the devices we have end devices okay these are the end devices we connected to the switch so these machines are sending the request to get the ip it will go to the router router will give the IP and then this machine will get the IP that's all we learn here how to configure the DSCP server in the router thank you bye